Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. Oh, I don't have anything mixed up yet, but I wanted to show you first the good one and the and the awful one that I did the other day. Let me get my chair up so I can uh, feel like I'm an adult at the not a not a kid at the adult table. Okay, this is the bad one. This was the plexiglass one. You can see my hand through it. This was the plexiglass one. And I'm not happy with the colors, so I'm going to sand it and re-pour on it, okay? Let me put this over here so it doesn't get dirty. And these are my dipped canvases the other day. I'm trying to not get the glare on it. I don't know how to, <laughs> how to do that, really. This one turned out good. And... The cells held up in this one. I like it. So these are going to be finished off and then they're going to go um, for sale. Now, I was looking around through my pictures to see where I had some, um, where I had some um, finished ones, you know, with tape on the back and whatnot. And these were the only two I could find. Okay, there's a heart. Now, the reason I'm doing two different color backgrounds is because I've got a, a background um, color that is not a black or a white. It is a, oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me get these out. It is a, um, uh, let me try to get, okay making sure everything's mixed, right? It is a turquoise, a deep turquoise, I should say. So I'm gonna be, and it's and it's uh, oil-based paint. It's not Rust-Oleum, it's a different brand. It's uh, Bayer, um, what does it say on the label? It says, um, okay, it's Bayer, oil-based semi-gloss enamel, okay? So I don't know what kind of cells I'm gonna get. But we're gonna see and I'm getting a little heavy-handed on the oh I'll make eight why not I want to do some coasters too I actually found a broken coaster in my box today you know the ones that I haven't even taken the stickers off of yet I was pretty upset about that that means that I've shifted that box around the room so much that something got broken in it okay I hope I have enough in here I finally got my art coat in, so I'm going to use the last of what's in these bottles. Come on. I pour the hardener in first, and because I'm doing eight ounces, I'm doing the, I did the hardener in, part B, the hardener, in the cup up to the four ounce line. Now I'm adding the resin up to the eight ounce line. And the reason I look crooked is because I want to look at it to make sure I don't add too much. Okay, it's getting there, it's getting there. Sorry about this, but if this paint works as a background, you have got an unlimited number of colors to choose from with them. Um, oh, by the way, um, the only place I could find this paint at that could be mixed into colors was Home Depot. So, you'll have to go to Home Depot. I'll show you the, the um, label after I um, get my resin mixed. Okay, I got two colors, and I'm going to do a little bit of gold, and I put my gold away, didn't I? Yep. And I'm going to do one that that's for the background. And these two cups are stuck together so they're never going to be used again. Except I always, I always show them. Okay, now i got to mix for three minutes. But in that three minutes, oh, let me move that so I can see my clock. In that three minutes, I'm going to remind you, I'm not going live Tuesday night, okay? I'm going live Wednesday night. 
This is for uh, Joe Patty's, um, well, Fearless Me Art and Design is her channel. It's for her birthday. Her birthday is really the next day, but I don't go, I can't go live on Thursdays. I got a prior obligation every Thursday. So anyway, come on in. We'll be going live at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, and I'm, um, I'm gonna, we're going to be doing a live. I we're gonna be uh pouring on something. Uh we're each gonna be making one 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 thing, but what it is is um hopefully it'll all fit right here. Um hopefully um we'll have the room. Um but um we're also gonna be doing a drawing during that. Okay, I gotta pick this cup up. We're gonna be doing a drawing. We're gonna have um I'm figuring I'm not going to get more than 200 people in the in the chat. So, what we're going to do is is we're going to have a number written down on a, in on a piece of paper, sealed in an envelope. Okay? And when you get there, you give us your number. If it's taken, we'll tell you, and then you'll have to pick another number cuz I'm going to have numbers 1 through 200 listed. I'm going to put each person's name by it. Um, you don't have to stay for the drawing, but that's okay, you know. I realize some people um, have other things they're doing in the evening too. Um, but um, if I draw your number and announce it, you will have to uh, come back sometime and watch the end of it to see whose name was drawn, so you can send me your um, send me your address. Uh, easiest way to do that would be on Facebook. Uh, on my page, Doors for Designs. And then I will get your prize out to you. I'm thinking of doing a set of coasters as the prize. And then we're going to have one coaster that's going to be the prize for the person that's the farthest away from the number, okay? And I'm not picking a number right in the middle. I'm not picking 100 or 101, okay? Because then I wouldn't have anybody, um, far enough away okay when you mix your resin you want to mix it up really really good don't worry about the bubbles you want to scrape the sides scrape the bottom scrape your stick off and you want to mix it till it's clear and it's not quite clear yet because I wasn't mixing fast enough anyway um, so this Wednesday, which is April 17th, I've got to look at my calendar over there, and i got to squint because it's far away. Anyway, um, so I hope to see everybody there for the birthday party. It's for um, Joe, Patty, and Barbie together, because Barbie turned 60 this year, and Joe, Patty will tell you she's turning 62, so it's a birthday party for Joe, Patty, and Barbie. Okay, <laughs> which which kind of sounds weird to me because I do have a sister named Barbie, but she's younger than me, so she's not sixty. Okay, let me get my color in my cups. Okay, um, I do. I am using powders in the other three. I was very lucky the other day. Um, one of my viewers, she has a channel called Nat Time Creations. I'll link her link her below the video. Um, she had some extra stuff. These are all the res matte um, powders, and I thought these would go good with the. Um, excuse me, don't mean to block, but I'm trying to reach my sticks, which I should have had them out. Okay. And it's always best that you put your powder in first, okay? Uh, let me put a little bit more. Whoops, not that much. It's always best that you put your powder in the bottom first and then add your resin on top. Because if you put your powder in last, what happens is is it'll as you're stirring the powder the loose powder on top of the resin might poof out I call those oh that's not even enough for anything I call when the powder poofs out like that I call those unicorn farts 
because if a unicorn farted, it would be all colorful and sparkly. Okay, now come on. I can't get any powder out of there. I bought some um, new powder pigments for myself, some mica pigments the other day, and I ended up getting some um, jars uh, off of AliExpress of all places. Okay, let me see. I'm, try I'm trying my hardest to get some powder out. This is not easy. Okay. Aha, there we go. Got some. I have no idea what the names of these colors are. Uh, I didn't ask her, but maybe if she sees the bags and she watches the video, like she, she usually watches all my videos, um, maybe she can comment below the video with the color names. Okay. There we go. That is such a pretty blue. Okay, now, here is my new base tint. Okay. Trying to open it. That is a very, very dark turquoise. I forgot the color name. I'll have to, um, uh, Put that in the description down below because I did get the color card okay and you don't want a whole lot you want just enough to make it opaque I'm gonna do one more see it's kind of dripping off really really quick so I'm not getting a whole lot on the stick now this is the vapors from this is flammable. There's my hammer, um, which is why I am closing it. And before I put it away down on the floor, I will show you the label. Okay, you got to get see it. It's got the oh color names right here. Caribbean Current. That's the name of it. Okay, and this is what the base looks like. Let me see if I can get it closer, closer. Okay. So you tell, you go into Home Depot and you tell them you want the oil-based uh, paint. Um, the semi-gloss. I do not know if the satin would work. So that's why I didn't get the satin. I got the semi-gloss. And I'm also going to try... At a later date, I'm also going to try tinting some of it with some white. See if that makes it a little bit lighter. Oh, I like playing around with my colors. You know, what can I say? And I just wanted some unique... Uh, let me put you right there. Okay, first let me mix this up to make sure I got enough in there. You want to scrape off the excess off your stick so it goes down into the cup because for some reason it sticks on the stick real, real well. And you want to mix it up really, really good so you don't have any untinted resin at the bottom. And that is a really pretty color. Okay, and then I decided to use this blue. Let me get the excess pigment off of here. And I need a little bit more resin in there. And put enough in there. But that's okay. I made sure I had enough left over. Ooh, that is so pretty. I was going to do a silver or gold, but I don't want to put a whole lot of different colors in there. And I wanted to use these three colors with this base. And you want to make sure in powder with powders that you do mix it up really well so you don't get any little chunks, you know. But the res powders do mix up pretty good, okay? Uh, this one needs a little bit more too. 
See, I made enough resin that if I decide I'm going to do coasters, if I have enough color left, that is really pretty. And that's all, that's that's pretty opaque. Okay. Okay. Now here is this. I don't know. It looks like an olive green. I'm not sure. Okay, let's get the excess powder that's stuck to the stick off of there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, now, oops, I almost forgot my alcohol wipe. Because you always want to have a rag off to the side as far away from your my heat gun is over here okay let me see if you yeah my heat guns over here by the way I've had a couple people ask me get yourself a cheap 12 by 12 tile okay and put that 12 by 12 tile down on the corner of your table okay and what you're gonna do is this is just resin on there you know that's okay um, what you're going to do is, is um, that's going to be where you lay your gun down. Because your gun, when you first start it, well, as you're using it, it gets hot. And you got to lay it down. So you might as well have a place right there off to the side you can lay it down. It's okay if I don't use all of this because I'm going to use it on some coasters. I wanted to do a black and a white um, base underneath because I want to see... how much um, of the base shows through if it makes it okay now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up a little bit to make it easier to push it around and to get rid of air bubbles I always tell you guys point your gun away from your piece okay for about five seconds that's all it takes to blow those little dust boogers out okay because you don't want the dust boogers in your resin. Okay. And I can see the bubbles popping. Okay. That's the only time that you're working that you'll have to do it. The very first time you turn it on. Okay. You don't want to push it over the edge, but you want to push it up to the edge, especially considering that the base, the, the paint color underneath it is not the same color as the uh, be, uh, tint, the, the base resin that you're, the base coat you're putting on, I should say. Okay, I'll get it right yet. You have to excuse me. First day with my new mouth, I'm still learning words. And that's a joke. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, but I didn't offend anybody. I always say that. I'm always so self-deprecating. It's, you know, if you laugh at me, then you're not laughing at somebody else. You know, and I, I'm human. I got a lot of faults. I'll be honest. Don't worry about it. Um, it will self-level. And you're going to be putting more resin on it anyway, so don't worry about that either. Now, I do not know what order I should go in, so I'm going to do a swoop on this. And <sighs> see, here's the thing: I don't, I, I didn't plan this out how I was going to pour it on there. I'm thinking this one, I'm just going to blow it. And this one, I'm probably going to... Okay. Uh, let me try some... I don't know how the blue is going to look on that, but we will find out together, won't we? See, I could have done a more intricate design if I had a bigger canvas, but I couldn't find anything that was taped that was white except for these. And I didn't want to do a big black one. 
these are just these cheap little um, circles that you get at like um, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, you know. Okay, now, first I'm going to get rid of all the air bubbles and heat up the resin. I think this one, I'm just going to blow it. And I'm probably going to do the same to that one too. Okay, this one looks pretty with it on the background. I have got a very tilted heart. So, let me tilt it this way. I did want to tilt it a little bit back. There we go. Okay. This one... It doesn't work so good on the black. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I hate the glare. Hopefully, when Joe Patty comes over Wednesday, she can help me figure out how to do my cameras. Because I do not know if I got them set up right. Okay, I'm going to try blowing this one out just a little bit more. Okay, I can see right now, dark color, these colors don't work with this on a black background, but they look really, really pretty. On this background. Yeah, it's tilting this way and you can see all the runoff. So, let me give you a close-up. I don't want to drip on the one below me. See, there it goes. Drip, 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 drip. Okay. This one... I wonder if I should have... You know, I can always make a little gold real quick. Where is that gold I had the other day? Oh, I just put all my stuff away. I don't know. Aha, there you are. Found you, you little booger. So I got a little bit of resin left in there. And I'm going to do... A little bit of gold. This is that gold I was using the other day. It's from uh, it's from a hardware store. We've got a Menards here, but I'm sure all the big hardware home improvement stores will have something similar to it. It is a paint additive that you mix into your regular house paint to give you um, the, the one bag treats a whole gallon. There is. There, I'm trying to get the lid on right. Come on. There is uh, three bags in here. These are the jars I got for my powders the other day. From um, AliExpress. Okay, here we go. I'll put a little gold on that one too.
I know it's probably hard for you to see the design that's on this, but it's there. Okay, now this one, the design is shifting bad. So, let me see what I can do. And just trying to follow the little outlines. Let's see if I can thicken up this line just a little bit. This one, the gold's getting lost in it. Ah, uh, okay. Note to self, do not use this dark turquoise on a black background. Okay. I'm not going to make you stick around for coasters. Let me just blow out this gold a little bit. And put these little bad boys to bed. And I will see you in the next video. I thank y'all for watching. There we go. Got it to go a little bit. Um, thank y'all for watching. Um, please, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'm always testing new things in resin. Like this um, oil base paint from Bayer. Um, don't forget to join us um, Sunday, uh, Wednesday night, April 17th at 6.30 p.m. for my live where I'm going to be do doing a giveaway, okay? And it's to celebrate my girlfriend's uh, birthday. She has another channel which I will link below on that night. So anyway, um, I, I appreciate everybody who comes and watches and and you know likes my little experiments I love the resin right out of you guys and I hope to see you in the next video so bye for now